Welcome everyone, my name is Mr. Twelve, my name is Chris, and welcome to... What the fuck is this? I'm kidding, it's called Warframe. It's a third person free to play game on... A third person shooter, sorry, free to play game on Steam. And if you haven't seen it already, then I'm not sure if I'd recommend you checking it out. It's very relevant to what I'm going to be talking about today, but... Yeah, the game itself, I'm not really sure whether you should check it out or not. I will probably do a review on it, but... It's... It's fun... But I'm not sure how long it's going to be fun for. So if you have slow download speeds, then nah. But if you do have quick download speed, then yeah, why not? It only took me about 20 minutes to download anyway, so you might as well check it out. Now anyway, before I go into the main topic of the video, which is free-to-play games, um, <laughs> I just want to say something to my main subscribers who have actually been watching my videos like very consistently and stuff. Uh, you've been asking me a lot of questions, sending me a lot of messages over the past few days. I've responded to most of them, as far as I know. My inbox is a bit glitched, actually, because um, some of the comments I came across, I'm like, why was this not in my inbox? But whatever. So, yeah, I've been responding to most of them. Um, and, yeah, the reason I haven't uploaded for, like, uh, I think it's three or four days now, um, sometimes I just don't have anything to talk about, and I don't see the point in making a video if I don't have anything to talk about, because it would just be me making up stuff on the spot, and it's never a good thing, trust me, I tried it, and it didn't work out too well, that was kind of how I tried out starting the channel, and then I ended up script, not scripting everything, but I kind of, like, put some bullet points down on the page, and then as I'm going through, I say, ooh, Let's talk about that now. Oh, let's talk about that now. And it works out very well. Whereas when I first started the channel, I was, um, I didn't actually ever upload a video like this, but I did actually try <laughs> talking about everything without any structure to it, and it's not good, trust me. So if you're going to start a YouTube channel, this is a random tip. Don't script, but at the same time, don't just not put anything on a, paper, a piece of paper or whatever, because you will get confused and lost <laughs> in the commentary. Well, anyway, what I've been doing over the past few days is just working on my videos that I've been promising you guys, but haven't actually been bringing out. So, my bow montage is almost done. Uh, I've also got a couple of tips and tricks videos for War Thunder. I'm also making one for Black Ops 2, because uh, I was requested that. And, yeah, I'm going to be doing stuff like that. So, um, you'll be seeing those videos as soon as possible. But, uh, yeah, on to the main topic of the video, anyway. So, free-to-play games. Now, free-to-play games, as far as many of you are probably concerned, are fun. Uh, they don't last very long and they're probably worth about 10 hours of your time or something. But this is no longer the case. This used to be the case. But in, in the past couple of years, and I don't know why I just went, ah, that was a weird noise. Uh, in the past couple of years, free-to-play games have really advanced. You know, you can now get free-to-play games which have, in a lot of cases, as good as, and in some cases, better than, AAA title quality. They offer this at no price at all. Obviously, you can argue there is a price uh, involved if you want to like level up quickly. But, you know, you don't have to, and that's the, that's the point. It's free to play because you can play it without <laughs> having to spend a penny. And the fact that they can offer like AAA title quality is very interesting to me, and I think it might change the gaming industry, uh, or at least how it works these days. Now, I, if you've been keeping up my latest videos, you would know that, you know, my opinions on the gaming industry live late are not very uh, good. You know, I don't really like the fact that there are a lot of cash-ins, I don't like the fact there are a lot of games coming out that have no effort put into them whatsoever, really. And, um, just in general, I'm sick of seeing cash-in games and games made on a budget but sold at full price. You know, at the end of the day, if you're going to make a game on a budget, at least state it was made on a budget and sell it on a budget, because otherwise it's just... You know, you're offering people something that, that, you know, you spend £40 or $60 on Battlefield 3, you get your money's worth. You spend £40 or $60 on Aliens, Colonial Marines, you don't really get your money's worth. And that's kind of the point I was making in my previous videos. But now, you know, you can now pick up a game for free and get the same quality and save yourself that money. Arguably, you may spend a little bit of money on it, um, it's really up to you. But I went and spent money on some of the free-to-play games I've played and it is totally worth it. Even without the money being spent, it is totally worth it still. But, you know, sometimes by just by playing them, you enjoy yourself enough that you think, yeah, I'll put some money in on this game. You know, I might make it a little bit better for myself. And that is kind of how it works out. War Thunder, for example. And for those of you following my channel, you know I like War Thunder. <laughs> I play War Thunder almost every single day, and it is so fun to play. And I have thrown a bit of money at that. Mainly because it was such an enjoyable game that I decided to, you know, put some more money on it and get even more enjoyment out of it. But what I think free-to-play games are going to do to the gaming industry in general is completely kick out the games that the companies have been making the really bad games. Now, the reason I think this will happen is, 
you know, at the moment, War Thunder currently has more than 1 million players, which is a player count that some, like, AAA title games that you have to pay for don't even achieve. And the fact that a free-to-play game can do this in is intriguing. Now, you could argue that it's down to the fact that it has no money, you don't have to spend a penny to play it, but, you know, you can do... A lot of games offer this same exact thing, and a lot of them are becoming really popular. Planet Side 2, for example, has a lot of players. Black Live Retribution has a lot of players. I mess up on this puzzle, and I still don't have a lot of players. Uh, that was completely off topic. <laughs> but yeah, the, these free-to-play games can offer like similar, ex even in some cases, better experiences than you get in AAA titles, and yet they're free. And uh, one thing it's going to do to the gaming industry is there are a lot of games out at the moment that are just utter shit. You, you pick them up and you just think, why? Why did I spend money on this? And it happens a lot of the time, and it is very, very annoying. But the thing with a free-to-play game is you download it, you play it, if you don't like it, you delete it. It's very simple. But you don't really like to delete a game you paid for, because if you do that, you feel like, for some reason, <laughs> you just have to play it, because you feel like you wasted your money otherwise. But what I think free-to-play games are going to do is, because they offer such good quality and stuff, all these companies that have been making the bad games are either going to go out of business because no one buys their games anymore because they're, people are just like, yeah, I'll play a free-to-play game instead of playing your crap. And um, what I think will happen is that these companies will go out of business, um, which is very, it's a very possible uh, outcome to this, or they will just have to up their game. They'll bring out games and they'll be like, well, why aren't we getting any people buying these games? Well, because your game is shit. And that is kind of the way it will go. Um, and I think that if if that's the case, then these companies will either just die out or they will up their game and make good games. And for us as consumers or gamers or whatever you want to call yourself, you know, if you want to call yourself Lord Nicholas the Great, then whatever. But if this happens in the way I think it will probably happen, then these companies, you know, us as consumers are just going to get better games. So for us, it's a win-win. We, we get better games and there's less crap games. Hooray! But the companies who are actually making the games in general, you know, it can be a, lo a loss for them. I, mean, I think companies like DICE and Crytek, they're going to be fine. They're, I mean, they make good games anyway, so they're very, very unlikely to go out of business. But companies who have been made, I can't even remember their name, the people who made Dead Island, I mean, they made another one, for example, that is going to be their make or break game. If, they <laughs> if that messes up, which it probably will, um, they're gonna, probably just going to disappear for a while, or forever, hopefully. Um, I hated Dead Island, and I, I, from what I've seen of Dead Island Riptide, <laughs> what an improvement, not. Uh, it just, it's complete crap, and it's the same with Aliens, Colonial Marines, and stuff like that, it just comes out. Utter crap that we don't want to see. So, in a nutshell, I'll summarize this entire video, free-to-play games, probably going to up make other companies up their game or just go out and die like you know the company will go bust and i think that's what's going to happen in the future so yeah that's my views on what free to play games will do to the gaming industry so if you enjoyed the video please like the video uh comment with your thoughts and opinions or just ask questions in the comments it's really up to you and subscribe for more have a nice day and i'll catch you guys later